So the Perth Gold Cup is next in. It's a 0 140 handicap over three miles. And at the top, Vimiero Bois for David Robertson. Earthquake, Paul Rhodes, Discover Aegis, Darren Thompson, Mecca Combat, Martin Lidham, Quake, Paul Rhodes, Fiddler's Bino, David Robertson, Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith, Ruby Gallup, Daniel French, Double Chance, David Hooley, Thick as Thieves, Kevin Meenahan, Lady Ravenna, Patrick Hogan, Oil Baron, Graham Clutterbuck, Mystical Mail, Leon Van Rensburg, Lion Zone, Alex Cherry, and Stu Gray's got the bottom pair, Invincibility Duplex, and Tuck It In Your Sock. Uh, 16 of them then, facing the starter, and away you go. Off they go towards the first of the fences then, and it's a ditch, the first one. They're all safely over it, although Mystical Mail wasn't foot perfect. 18 more fences to take in this then. And Lion Zone and Discover Age to the two that have Paul Clear, but took it in your sock. Looks like he's interested in joining them for a leading trio as they get to the second. And there's a fall of air, and it's Invincibility Duplex that's gone. So Invincibility Duplex has gone. But Stu Gray still got took it in your sock in third in the race as they get over the third fence. The back marker at this point is thick as thieves for Kevin Meenham, but we've now got a lead in three. Discover Aegis in the centre with a white sleeve for Darren Thompson. Closest to us, took it in your sock in the black for. Stu Gray and over on the far rail in the orange sleeves. It's Lion's Zone for Alex Cherry as they skip over the water. And two more circuits of the trap required. And Quake has moved through on the inside in the fourth. One or two of these being caught quite wide there. The David Robertson. Well, these two have really gone wide. That David Robertson horse and the and Lady Ravenna for um, Padraig Hogan really got pushed wide there. Vimiero Boy and Lady Ravenna. Chance has probably gone already now with that because they were really pushed by and so too was Mechner Combat. And I think those three have probably had their chance taken away on that turn. But Discover Aegis is the leader. Lion Zone is in second. Took it in your sock, dropped back to third. Quake is fourth. Then comes Earthquake. And the field is now quite strung out. They were pretty close, closely grouped before that turn. And it turn has caused a bit of damage as we lost them behind the trees momentarily on that bit then we've now switched angles so we can see them from the other side and you can see just how much ground was lost by those three at the back and they're all safely over the seventh let's hope they get themselves into a better position before they take that turn again otherwise it'll be an absolute disaster for them but anyway discover ages that's now won the battle to be the leader and there's a good three lengths clear of Lion Zone in second took it in your sock is third gap back to Quake in the purple and green in fourth as they get over the eighth and Quake was down his nose there make the combat the last one over it and it discourages the leader from Lion Zone and took it in your sock gap of five lengths then to Earthquake and Quake as they get to the ninth Safely over the ninth, we've met the combat later. We've run still the back two. Double chance and oil banner at the back. Those two haven't got anybody at all yet. Neither this fiddler's bino. But it's Discover Aegis who's got the lead then as they race up the straight again. Take two more play ones up here and then the water a stake by Lion Zone as they all stream over that one. And this will be the last next time round. And Discover Aegis will be hoping to be still in that leading position. Three or four lengths clear of took it in your sock second as they approach the water. So it's Discover Aegis who's going to lead them over the water jump then for the second and final time. Took it in your sock is second and Lion Zone is third. Then Earthquake is four and Ruby Gallup is five and Quake is six and Fiddler's Bino is seven and Mystical Mail eight and Vimiero by nine and then Magical Spell and Thickest Thieves and Oil Baron and Double Chance. Lady Ravenna and finally met the combat as they come round that troublesome turn. Lady Ravenna pushed a little bit wide again. But it's Discover Aegis who's clear in the lead. Discover Aegis clear by two and a half. Two took it in your sock second. Lion Zone third. These three still well clear of the remainder. Another mistake by Lion Zone. And then Quake is running on in a fourth. Earthquake is fifth. The Grey Ruby Gallop is getting closer. And there's another gap. Back to thickest things in the field is well strung out. And it's difficult to see anything from the back getting into this because they've not been going that quickly. 
And it's Discover Aegis who's got the lead. Sucking in your sock, being driven on his outside in second. Then comes Lion Zone, who's been making mistakes. Then Earthquakes after that one. And then just Quake. And then comes Fiddler's Bino, who's now starting to get into it. Ruby Gun up is next. Then there's a big gap back to the rest of them. We're headed by Thickest Thieves. And the top weight, Vimiero Bois. But they come down to the 15th. Over that one. Sucking in your sock, hitting hard, and has now dropped back into fourth. It's Discover Aegis who's the leader. Discover Aegis from Lion Zone in second. Earthquake now moves through nicely into third. Third, sucking in your sock, trying to get back going again. Quake's looking for racing room and he's totally boxed in on the rail as Fiddler's Bino starts to make a move around the outside. These are clear as they come down towards the next. And it's Discover Aegis who's in the lead. Discover Aegis gets to it over the lead. It jumps it well. That was a 16th. They've got three more to go and Discover Aegis has kicked on for home. He's gone three clear of Earthquake in second. Quake is in third. Lion Zone fourth. Then Fiddler's Bino, thick as thieves, is running on nicely. Took it in your sock, looks beat. Make the combat and Vimiero Boiro are hampered early on and trying to run on over the final ditch they go and it's still Discover Aegis in front Discover Aegis is leading by two lengths to Quake in second Earthquake third Fiddler's Bino thick as thieves looks to be going best of all on the outside as they race down towards the final two and it's Discover Aegis who stood off it better jump by Quake in second here comes thick as thieves Earthquake Fiddler's Bino he's trying to get into it Mystical Mail making a run from the back lane this is the final fence over it they go Discover Aegis lands in front Discover Aegis in the lead from Quake in second. Earthquake in third. Thickest things back in fourth. It's Discover Aegis being worn down now by Quake. Quake's beginning to get up on the outside. Quake's beginning to pull away. Earthquake is running on. It's Quake that's going to take it. Quake wins it. Close for a second between Earthquake and Discover Aegis. Thickest things in double chance and lion zone. And all the way back to Ruby Gallop in the end. And it looks like she probably didn't stay the trip. But it's a win for Paul Rose. It may even be a 1 2. For Paul Rose, indeed it is. And Quake takes it for Paul Rhodes. Second as well for him with Earthquake. Discover A just a long time ago. Darren Thompson and Lucky back in third. Thick of Thieves, Kevin Meenahan run on one for fourth. Uh, Mystical Mail for Leon Van Rensburg also run on to be fifth. But Vimiero, Bois, Met the Combat, Lady Ravenna all had their chances completely taken out of it on that first bend or the first bend on the second circuit.